We are in a mania for gold and silver right now, people. And it has trickled down into Main Street. Did I just blow up my silver price pullback prediction? Did I just snag this monster box of American Silver Eagles from Tim? It has the barcode. Oh, look at this. Yep. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. I really appreciate it. I also appreciate all my new subscribers. Man, I've gotten a pile of them recently. And I just want to thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel, checking out my videos. Uh, and also, I'm not sure if people know this, but in the description of my videos, I put all kinds of really important stuff. Links, uh, you know, ways to contact me, that type of thing. And I get a lot of comments and questions about stuff that is in the description of the video. So hit the carrot, expand it. You'll see what I'm talking about. But thank you for watching. And if you do enjoy this video, please hit the like button there. That would uh, really make my day. So anyway, we have the makings of a real mania, folks. Everybody wants to buy silver and gold. And while I didn't buy that monster box full of American silver eagles, I did help Tim sell it to somebody in our great community someone who literally drove across the country to meet up with me and Tim and buy it. You're not going to want to miss that video clip later on. Anyway, what's going on with silver and gold right now? I mean, think about it. It's going up and up and up. Retail investors are going bonkers right now, folks. They helped put gold ETFs on an 18th straight weekly gain. That's the longest streak since 2006. And physical gold posted its seventh weekly gain on Friday. Guys, it's incredible. And silver is even more spectacular than gold. Paper spot price was up over 60%. Isn't that incredible? Now, the rush to gold and silver as a safe haven for investors is totally on. The main driver behind this rally has been that real interest rates continue to plummet. And they don't show signs of easing, guys. The depressed U.S. bond market is also driving investors into precious metals as real yields on treasuries fall below zero. That's inflation, people. And it's real this time. It's not just locked up in some you know, stock market or somewhere. It's in the supermarkets now. And the dollar continues to drop. <laughs> Retail investors are jumping on the bandwagon. Look at look at GLD, SLV, SILV with its lower expense ratio. They're hot, people, hot. And so are the predictions by analysts feeding this mania. Goldman Sachs analysts last week wrote that, quote, combined with a record level of debt accumulation by the U.S. government, real concerns around the longevity of the U.S. dollar as a reserve currency have started to emerge. And with the Federal Reserve on Wednesday leaving its benchmark interest rate unchanged, right near zero, it, that fear is only going to increase. The GDP report on Thursday showed the nation's gross domestic product contracted in the second quarter at an unprecedented annual rate of 32.9%. The collapse in economic output that we've just experienced, it, it was offset by what the government and the Fed did. The, the, you know, the handouts, the, the, the currency printing, that's what mollified the impact just for a bit, right? If the Fed lets up on the monetary gas pedal now, the markets are toast. Now, I think the dollar is already toast, but but the markets, guys, that's what everybody's watching. And a big drop in the stock market could spark a rush to sell this stuff, at least in its paper form, the paper markets. You could see the paper markets drop, at least in the short term. I'm going to get into that in just a bit. And speaking of the Fed, Jerome Powell made it crystal clear that they don't care one iota about inflation. Bring it on, okay? They don't care. 
I've always said that politicians and central banksters would sacrifice the dollar to prop up these markets. And Powell's sentiment is hugely bullish for precious metals. Watchers of my videos will attest that I've been warning about stagflation, check that out if you haven't seen it already, for months. And I just read another analyst second my concern. This uh, senior market analyst, Edward Moya at o Oanda Corp, said investors are, quote, concerned that stagflation will win out and will likely warrant even further accommodation by the Fed. Yup. Deflation, stagflation, hyperinflation. Game over. I've talked about these three over and over. That is what I believe the progress is. And we're right in the midst of it, folks. So long term, the, the decade of the 20s, gold and silver are no brainers, folks. This is about as close to a sure thing that you're going to get. You have to be stacking gold and silver. I mean it. I've, I tell everybody, friends, families, you've got to be stacking this stuff. But where am I at with gold and silver in the short, short term? We're talking four to six weeks, roughly. Well, I'm, I'm going to double down on it, guys. I'm going to say it again. I think we're in for a pullback, a big one. Think about it. What if, what if round two of this uh, uh, stimulus fails to meet expectations? I mean, it, it, it is largely factored into the markets right now. You know, one trillion, one trillion plus. I still think it could be up to two trillion. But regardless, what could happen? Well, I think those uh, uh, overblown deflationary fears could come back. Do you remember those? Remember when the stock market plunged? It could happen again. I think I think the markets could plunge, causing a liquidity crisis like it did back in March. People would need cash and quickly and. And that could affect all asset classes, including gold and silver, temporarily, short term. It could be a huge pullback. I think that's likely. I know this is controversial. <laughs> I had a lot of debate going on in the comments on my prior video. Um, you know, some people, some people agreed. Some people think there is going to be pullback. You know, I am so bullish on gold and silver, guys. And I do realize that it highly depends on your particular stacking journey, you know, where you're at, right? You know, how much you have already stacked. And maybe that gives me this, you know, uh, uh, you know speculative uh, license, if you will, just to say, eh, I'm going to hold off, right? But I do think that there may be the best buying opportunity coming up in just a few weeks. And yes, I know it also depends not just on the sentiment that I've been talking about over precious metals, but also the supply and demand. Speaking of demand, actually, for silver and gold. Demand has never been higher. What's it? Okay, so you've never seen it like this? No, I have never seen demand like this. Mostly because of financial issues. Right. People are, are you know, well aware of the debt that they're piling up. Yep. Um, you know, the Republicans tried to back out of this, this uh, the, you know, the next level stimulus. of stimulus. Yep. Um, but they still compromise. They compromise at $1.6 trillion or something like that. And, yep. and um, Nancy Pelosi put a foot down. She still wants, you know, three and a half. I saw uh, that. Yeah. Demand is super high, but 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 as to supply, listen to this. Uh, basically, they're not shipping what the commitments were at the beginning of the year. Um, they are running the uh, the West Point men is on a revised schedule. Neither the West Point men nor the Philadelphia men are going to be making both gold and silver at the same time. So they must have staffing issues. Oh, okay. I don't think they have machine issues. I think they probably run the same machines of both mints. Huh. Um, but I mean, if you're if you're not making, you know, gold eagles, that there's going to be a shortage there. If you're not making silver eagles, there's going to be a shortage there. Uh, if you just do the computation from their shutdowns, they've already lost about thirty percent of their minage. Right. They're going to be tooling up probably in October and November for the 2021s, which is a different reverse. Right. So they have essentially two months left 
to produce 70% of their mintage, and that's impossible. So I think the shortfall for 2020 is going to be pretty serious. And I suppose if I were investing mm. in 2020s, and I think they're all going to be collectibles. They're going to be like the 96s. Oh, and, that's a good one. Um, and 2019s are starting to rise because they're not around anywhere. So mm. I did, you know, I saw a comment from one of your uh, members that said that um, he ordered 2020s and got 2019s. And oh, I, I remember that comment. Yes. Um, I wonder if they're just kicking out the door or whatever they happen to have left. Um, but it's the, the sh silver shortage is their biggest problem with the silver eagles because their their silver mines are not open, or at least they, the byproduct mines are not open. So I, you know, it's understandable the U.S. Mint uh, processes you know tons of silver every year, and I, I just don't think it's available. So bottom line, yes, you need to be stacking this stuff. I didn't get that monster box, but someone else from our community did. So I really want you to see this video. Check it out. All right, I'm going to introduce you as Missouri Mike. You came all the way from parts unknown. Parts unknown. Yeah. To get all the way up to New Hampshire to buy this monster box. That's correct. And gold? Yep. Oh, my goodness. You want to be able to do business with people you know and trust. <laughs> you see what they do, and you, and, and you follow them, and... And you and you establish a relationship, and then you can trust them. Oh, is that pretty? Which this, one? this, <gasps> this, and this. The maple, what yeah. else? Oh my word! You're getting them all. Yep. Good for you. That's fantastic. <laughs> You're not getting those, right? Stay away from the buffalo. Stay away from the buffalo. I'm just kidding. Man. Wow, what an epic haul, huh? Gold and silver. And I'm so glad I could help you out, man. Missouri Mike, you're an awesome dude. Thank you so much for those kind words, too. So what does this all mean for me, Yankee, and my silver and gold spot price pullback prediction by September? Well, I, I'm stacking that stuff, guys. I know it's fiat. I don't want it to be how I store my value shoot from the very beginning of this video. It's already lost value. I don't know how much, but it's crazy, right? <laughs> I think a pullback is coming. It will be brief, but I want to be ready for it. However, in full disclosure, I did succumb to a bit of low premium enticement by Tim while I was there. <laughs> what can I say? This stuff was an amazing deal. I mean, really, they're all ugly. I'll admit it. I haven't, I haven't ta uh, tackled it yet, but I am going to try to clean these. It's almost like chocolate milk spots. That's what I think. What do you think? Chocolate milk spots? Man. Oh, and there's more. <laughs> I did get the rounds. I mean, they're pretty cool, right? Yeah. All right. I, <laughs> I did succumb. It was an amazing deal. And, you know, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping most of my Yankee powder dry. What about you? Are you holding back at all for maybe a few more weeks just to see if a big pullback happens? Let me know. But anyways, thank you so much for watching Yankee Stacking. Again, I really appreciate it. And as always, I hope your day is A-OK. -okay. My hands aren't as good looking as his, are they? Oh, come on.